Ladies and gentlemen, the Miss Photogenic is candidate number... Candidate, candidate number three! Miss April Takuke! Candidate number three is Miss April Talugi. Takugi. Takugi. Yes, sir. And thank you so much thank to our you. presenters. Our next award is the Miss Tourism Migos Congeniality Award. This award is given to the candidate who is the most congenial among them all. Awards. The winner for Miss Congeniality Award will be receiving a sash, cash, and a bouquet. This award will be awarded by Miss Bernadine Salado, first runner-up of the Miss Tourism Migos 2008, together with Miss Karen Diane Asor, organizer of Miss Island Philippines pageant, and Miss Bikini Philippines. This year's Miss Tourism Migos Congeniality Award goes to Candidate number... Candidate number, number 10, 10, Ms. Ms. Diana, Diana Dizon. Congratulations. Congratulations, Diana. Our candidate number 10. The friendliest among them all. We'd like to request our presenters to please give the special award to Ms. Diana Dizon. These are just two of the awards we're giving out tonight. We have a lot more, Sir Don. Later on, we'll be giving more awards. Just stay put and relax and enjoy the beauty of our beauties. Of course. Here, right here on this beautiful park. Of course. Lovely. We have Miss Diane Asor and Miss uh, Bernadine Salado, first runner-up. Our Miss Stories of Migos 2008. Congratulations, ladies. Towering ladies. <laughs> Congratulations, Diana. Before proceeding further, guys, we would like to acknowledge the presence of uh, our beloved First Lady of the City of Digos. Let's give a round of applause to Mrs. Irma Latasa. Hello, Madam Irma. It's nice to see you here. We also have our counselors here present. Mm -hmm. And our private secretary, of course. So at this point in time, Gay, we will have the welcome address, which will be given to us by the chair of the committee on Miss Tourism Digos 2009. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome with a round of applause the beauties, the very active, and the young city councillor, Myra Dalia Navidad. To our beloved City Mayor, Mayor Sanyo Boy Latasa, Honorable Members of the Sangguniang Panunsod and Sangguniang Panlalawigan, Lieutenant Colonel Lyndon Panesa, Battalion Commander of 39th IBN Staff, Philippine Army, Distinguished Panel of Judges, treasured Citizens of Digos, and to all who are present here, good evening. It is my privilege to address you all and welcome you to the celebration to the beauty of Digos and its citizens and the rich culture we all tirelessly preserve and nourish. Tonight, we celebrated not only the night celebration of our city, but also the unity we as Digosenos had all demonstrated and must continue to uphold. A unity must go beyond religious, cultural, social, and personal differences. Thus the theme, Kalambuan, Kalambigitan para sa tanan. We might ask, what is the secret to our progress? How did the rich and the poor people work together to improve our lives 
and transport Degas to the roads of progress. How did the Christians, Muslims, Blancs, Bagobos, Manobos, and other different tri tribes of Degas able to live together in harmony and bring Degas to where it is now? Ladies and gentlemen, the secret lies beyond our common identity as Degosenios. Despite culture diversities, we are bound by the spirit that we are all citizens of this land and that we must move ourselves as a people and not as a different persons. It is our resolve as a united but different people that God take us to where it is now. Nagkalain-lain man ang atong kultura o pagtuo sa daghang hisgutanan apan wala na ito kinigisip ng atong kahuyangan. Ang atong panaglahi, maoy sukuranan sa atong tinuggan, sa atong puso, pagpaningkamot o pagatubang sa hagit para sa kalambuan. Kini, mahimo na itong baguhon sa daghang panagbinkil o wala kini nagbabag sa kauswagan. Each of us made up the lack of another. We found comfort where we overlap. That, we, that was the beauty of our Digos and the people. And tonight, we are going to celebrate such unity. We must showcase through our candidates and the differences we are not only tolerated but also willingly embraces and eagerly nourished. Tonight's pageant will demonstrate that we as Digosenos could transcend religious, political, social, ethnic and personal boundaries and welcome together as citizens of this city. Ang atong pajan karong gabi, mao'y pagpakita kung gihunsa nato paglihok, pagtinabangay para mapakita nga ang katawan mao'y naghimo sa mga desisyon o mga aktor sa tanang kausaban. It is my aspiration that tonight's candidate and more so the winners will actively play their very important role as ambassador not only of beauty, but also of the diverse but unified Digosenyo culture. It is my hope that tonight's activity will make us proud to be a Digosenyos, make us value our people and to conciliate our differences. As the American social activist Doris Hyde once said, we cannot afford to separate. We have to see that all of us are the same both. Again, I welcome you all to Miss Tourism Digos 2009. Thank you and enjoy your heart all out. <laughs>